Okay, um, uh, before we start building our uh, UI interface, I am going to show you one thing uh, that uh, we need to add it to our info P list so that we can uh, use our location. Uh, in iOS 10, you need to ask for permission to use user's location, user's microphone, camera, etc. So go to info P list file and uh, under the last uh, line, click on plus and it will open uh, another line and here we say privacy and here you can see different settings for Bluetooth, for calendar, for camera, for contacts, health share and we are looking for location uh, when in use so this will ask our user uh, a prompt message which the string is we are going to put a message here that when the application wants to use the user's location the iOS itself will ask the user if uh, the application should have permission to use so here we are going to put some text so we say please let us use your location doesn't matter the text you put here you can put whatever you want it just displays to the user uh, why you want to use the location all right um, let's click on main storyboard and uh, I'm going to close the side panel here also I'm going to select the view I'm going to choose an iPhone SE and close this because my screen is small I don't want to waste the space so this is our initial um, view um, if you remember we have deleted our view controller for this view so currently this view doesn't have a controller um, before we start let's select this go to editor and embed this to a navigation controller I'm going to zoom out a bit and bring this and align it nicely And then we can zoom in right so this is going to be our welcome view so here we need to put our login options so let's um, let's select the label then we are going to need a button and we are going to need a text field all right, the label uh, will say login or create your new account. Let's align this. I'm going to put this on the blue lines on stick to the borders and let's uh, align adjust text to be aligned center right then uh, we need an username which will be our email address actually for logging in the placeholder will be email let's control c and control v so we copy our text field this is going to the password all right and we are going to have a button which is going to say login and this is going to be under the text fields then at the bottom we are going to have another UI label so copy and paste this take it around here and uh, I'm going to say don't have an account which is a question and we need another button let's copy this and paste again 
and this button is going to be called register now let's open it up right and align it the button okay so if our user has an account it can straight away log in if they want to register they just click the button and uh, we will show another screen which will register the user so let's uh, let's go to our app delegate click on it command n to create another file and this is going to be type of coco touch class click next and this is going to be called welcome view controller make sure the language was swift and create the file so let's go back to our main storyboard select our uh, view controller here and uh, here in our identity inspector the class uh, is view controller which is the old one we delete and we say now welcome view controller and click enter and this will put our class to the name welcome view controller uh, right now we can uh, we can select our text fields our buttons our labels and uh, connect them to our code so let's go to our assistant editor i'm going to close the side panel here and uh, when it's on automatic it will automatically uh, display the right uh, view controller file when you have the view selected so we need to do some connections here first one is going to be a uh, ui text the the email which is going to be email text field then we are going to connect our password text field Uh, next thing we are going to connect our login button and this is going to be the outlet and we need to connect our register button outlet Right, this is for our outlets and now we need to connect um, two buttons with functions so the, the first one is going to be our login button let's put some extra space here click on login button drag and this time it's not going to be an outlet connection it's been action and we say login button pressed put few more spaces and now we need the register button pressed and again we change it to action call it registered button pressed and these functions will be called when we tap our buttons <coughs> 